Go back and look at Cheryl Swoops, and I think that was what, like 93, 94, when right. she when she put Texas Tech on her back. Right. Drop 47 in the national championship yeah. game. 16 or 22 against uh, Ohio State. I think when they had Kate Katie Smith. Mm -hmm. Watch. That's what Caitlin would have had to do. Score mm -hmm. points like that, but do it efficiently. Yeah. Caitlin Clark is a great, great player. Mm -hmm. But how do we put it in front of a Brianna Stewart who has four championships? Mm -hmm. That's unfair. You know, because at the end of the day, they tell me at the end of the day it's all about winning. Welcome to the Dark Times channel. So here we go again back with another one. And before I get started, make sure you guys go and hit that like button for me. And if you're not new to the channel and you enjoy the content so far on this channel, make sure you guys go and hit that subscribe button for me as well. And so yesterday, South Carolina was able to defeat the Iowa Hawkeyes, led by Caitlin Clark, and put a cherry on top of their undefeated season by winning the national championship. And so shout out to those girls because, as we all know, they had to go up against the refs. And it is what it is. We know Iowa's the cash cow, Caitlin Clark is the cash cow, and so they have a vested interest in making sure that she came out on top. But they didn't. They lost. And I put up a stat survey the other day. And it had a lot of people scratching their heads. A lot of people were a little puzzled by this. I wasn't because I was following a lot of the stats as the tournament was going on. But Iowa was averaging almost 13 more free throws a game than their opponents throughout this entire tournament. And so, like I said, they were trying to give it the game. They were trying to give it to Caitlin Clark. Because if Caitlin Clark would have won this, she would have won a national championship. She would have went down as the greatest college athlete ever. And not just women's athlete, but I'm talking about the greatest college athlete of all time. No doubt about it. They would have crowned her. And she's not the greatest college athlete of all time. She's not even the greatest college female basketball player of all time. It is not even close. And Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco are going to chime in on it. Go ahead and take a listen. Yeah. Caitlin Clark is a great, great player. Mm -hmm. But how do we put it in front of a Brianna Stewart who has four championships? who has three, has basically a lot of the same awards, mm -hmm. but four titles and four most outstanding mm -hmm. players, or Shamiko Tohosplo, or Cheryl Miller, or mm -hmm. Diana Taurasi. Mm -hmm. That's unfair. You know, Because at funny. the end of the day, they tell me at the end of the day, it's all about winning. She is one of the GOATs. Yeah. But she can't be in front of Stewie. In my estimation, the greatest women's college basketball player is Brianna, Brianna Stewart. Brianna Stewart? Okay. Are, are, are four you titles. Saying? Four outstanding MVPs, three-time mm -hmm. player of the year, mm -hmm. three-time conference player, four-time conference player. Right. Ain't nobody, ain't, until somebody do that, right. don't talk to me. Right. Okay. So are you saying she can't, she's one of the GOATs, but she can't be the GOAT because no. she wasn't able to solidify it by winning a championship? You, you Remember, we had this discussion. Yes, You sir. can be great. Right. Can't be the greatest. Not okay. empty-handed. Okay. Not empty handed. I, I, Go back and look at Cheryl Swoops. And I think that was what was that what 90 like 93, 94? When right. she when she put Texas Tech on her back. Right. Dropped 47 in the national championship yeah. game. 16 or 22 against uh, Ohio State. And I think when they had Kate Katie Smith. Mm -hmm. Watch. That's what Caitlin would have had to do. Mm -hmm. Score points like that, but do it efficiently. And so of course Shannon Sharp hit the nail right on the head. I thought it was all about winning. But like I always say on this channel, it's not just about winning. It's about how you win and it's about who wins. It's not about Caitlin Clark changing the game and bringing more eyes to it. What brought more eyes to Caitlin Clark and what brought more eyes to women's basketball was the rift that happened last year between Caitlin Clark and Reese. That whole hand in the face thing, you can't see me, that ruffled a lot of feathers. That left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. And y'all know who I'm talking about. And so they tuned in to see Caitlin Clark win because they wanted to see everybody else be put in their place. Race and sports within America is as American as apple pie, as they say. It's like sugar and rice. It just goes together. It's the way it's been. And I suspect to some degree, it's the way that it will always be. And so it's not the simple fact that Caitlin Clark changed the game or she made it exciting or more palatable for everybody to watch. It's not that. It's how they promoted it. 
Caitlin Clark, as you know, is white. Her coach, Lisa Bluter, she's white also. Most of Clark's teammates are white. Iowa is seen as the white Cinderella of women's college basketball. It was America's sweethearts and the Iowa Hawkeyes versus everybody else. Like the article said, the dirty debutantes. And that's how America saw it. That's what it boiled down to. And that's why it was more exciting. It's all about how they promoted it. And I always go back to boxing and Floyd Mayweather in particular. Nobody cared to watch Floyd Mayweather's fights when he was pretty boy Floyd. Probably except me. I was probably one of the few people that followed boxing like that. And Floyd Mayweather was always one of my favorite fighters. In the round. And there's the third knockdown of the round. He was a defensive fighter with great hand speed. And so I was always a Mayweather fan. But people didn't really care to watch until he started promoting himself differently. That's right. He's, he's playing into the Mexican crowd in his hometown because he knows this is Oscar's crowd. And he started seeking out different fighters to fight other than so-called black fighters. He started seeking out Mexican boxers. He started seeking out Irish fighters. 50 years of age, dress your age, carrying a school bag on stage. What are you doing with a school bag on stage? You can't even read. <laughs> Be evident, I'll go again, utilize into the angles. Oh, there's a right hand on the left side. Oh, Mayweather, oh, yeah. Mayweather is oh, hurting McGregor. McGregor stumbling. And all these fighters from different kinds of backgrounds. Because he realized he could sell more tickets. People like to see themselves win. People like to live vicariously through athletes. And so a win for that particular athlete is a win for that particular person who's watching that athlete. That's what it boils down to. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section on this one. Feel free to chime in for me. And, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're not new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and sub as well. And as usual, peace and chaos.